Hello, my name is Jennifer Williams. This is my individual project for the capstone course, which will be covering information systems, specifically inventory and record keeping. What is record keeping and inventory? Record keeping is the maintenance of history of one's activities, such as financial dealings, by entering data into ledgers, journals, and or putting documents in files. Inventory is described as a complete listing of merchandise, stock on hand, work in progress, raw materials, and finished goods made each year by a business concern. It is vital that every aspect of the business is inventoried correctly. All of these are considered assets to a company and help give financial, a financial visual of where the company stands. In today's business, programs such as information systems are used to track inventory and create record keeping more known as data processing as we move into the 20th century. In order for us to really understand the current practices of record keeping, it is imperative that there is an understanding of where we began. In retrospect, since 1940, our civilization has wrapped itself tightly around technology and advancement. This will be a journey back in time, looking at the major steps leading to our current practices and also taking a deeper dive into the present types of information systems used to gather data for recording and inventory purposes. The pre-mechanical age from 3000 BC to 1450 AD. Such as life changes and evolves, so the techniques and systems we use. Information systems date back to the BC era, starting with the pre-mechanical age. During this time in Egypt, under the rule of Ware King Menes, he unified Upper and Lower Egypt which created massive administrative and building projects. During these building processes, records on the building strategies and inventory of, of materials needed were recorded on the papyrus plants. They would cut the papyrus plants into strips and compress them together, making paper-like material, which were kept in scrolls. The first numbering system, similar to those in use today, was invented between 100 and 200 AD by Hindus in, Indian, in India who created the nine digit numbering system. The first numbers were only from one to nine and then in which some time later the concept of number zero was developed. By adding the number zero this would become a pure place value system. For example this allows for the tens placement of the one and the number ten and has given shape to how we use inventory and record keeping methods today. Another great contribution from the pre-mechanical age is the very first calculator called the abacus. The abacus was one of the very first information processors. People from the past needed to keep record of their assets, especially their livestock. By making tick marks in the sand or lying stones out in a line or pile, this would help them to take inventory. Each mark or stone represented an animal or a group of animals depending on the marker used. It is truly amazing to see how calculators had transitioned in size, shape, and specific functions due to the tasks on hand. Mechanical age, 1450 to 1840. The next best invention of their times would be the invention of the analytical engine by Charles Babbage in 1840. With the forthcoming of the analytical engine, this would make history as the first calculating computer. This engine was considered decimal in that they used the familiar 10 numbers 0 to 9. Babbage can also be credited for the first printout of printout recording machine. The analytical engine came into existence almost about the same time as the progression into the industrial age. Such a machine would be valued by big corporations for recording and of finances and materials. The Electromechanical Age, 1840 to 1940. The Electromechanical Age was the last stepping stone for the major advances we have today. Within this period, the birth of the census tabulator in 1890 by Hermann Hollerith. The machine was created for the mere purpose of calculation of the U.S. Census reports. Hollerith's tabulator sorted and read coded cards which held information such as age, sex, and location. In later years, as this machine evolved and it broadened into the scope of accounting, warehousing, and shipping professions. The basic fundamentals of these machines 
were the mainstay of data processing and computing from 1928 through the 1980s and was still in use in voting machines through the 2000 U.S. presidential election. The Electronic Age, 1940 to present. From the 1940s till now, technology has improved dramatically and that has contributed to the four main stages of computer development. First stage, the computers were converting from mechanical power to being powered by electronics. The electronic numerical integrator and computer, or known as ENIC, introduced in 1945, calculated by means of vacuum tubes. Designed and constructed at the Moore School of Electrical Engineering under a U.S. Army contract during the World War II, the ENIC established the practicality of large-scale electronic digital computers and strongly influenced the development of the modern stored program general computer. Second stage was marked by magnetic tape and discs that began to replace punch cards as external storage devices. The third stage was the advancement of operating systems and the integration of Microsoft by Bill Gates. The fourth stage is represented by the compact form of the personal computer. With the growth of in, technolo in technical knowledge and products, so are the standards for record keeping and inventory. Computer standardization. Computer usage is a standard component in today's business practices. With the standardization comes the need for programs geared specifically to meet the needs of business, and this is where information systems come into light. The information system is a collection of hardware, software, data, people, and procedures that are designed to generate information that supports day-to-day, -day, short range, and long range activities of users in an organization. There are five types of information systems, office information systems, transaction processing systems, management information systems, decision reporting, and expert systems. Many businesses integrate one or more of these systems to provide up-to-date and accurate information to make critical decisions for the business. <clears throat> we will look further into the transaction processing system because this can be used both for record keeping and inventory to gain a competitive advantage and promote high efficiency. A transaction processing system offers enterprise the means to rapidly process transactions to ensure the smooth flow of data and the progression of processes through the enterprise. By utilizing a transaction processing system, this will allow for rapid reorder, accurate recording of incoming and outgoing products. Businesses, especially in the present day, need to incorporate such systems to stay competitive. They need to have products stocked and readily available for purchase while also keeping minimal money tied up in overstock. Transaction processing systems can also be used to record business activities such as a deposit or payment. Another benefit from using a transaction processing system is the consistency of how information is recorded and is ideal for chain operations by creating stable methods for processing. Walmart is one company in particular that has gained a competitive advantage and has also seen an increase in profit due to the use of a TPS. The use of information technology has been an essential part of Walmart's growth. Walmart started using a point of sale computerized system and in computerized inventory system in the early 90s. This type of system has helped businesses to better understand the flow of sales and products. The point of sale has also helped contribute to negotiating lower wholesale prices. With the use of this system, at any given time, Walmart is able to identify each item sold, find its price in a computerized database, create an accurate sales receipt for the customer, and store this item by item sales information for use in analyzing sales and recording inventory. The simultaneous recording of all transactions by using the same information system aids in accurate record keeping without having to invest in other products. Another key advantage is being able to avoid overstocking by the use of reporting features, which in turn will provide better use of the company's major asset, cash. When companies have too much money tied up in products that are overstocked, this is not only affecting 
future buying, but also costly for storing the merchandise in their warehouses. Walmart achieved high efficiency through the TPS and their distribution methods. Walmart uses telecommunications to leak directly from its stores to its central computing systems and that system to its suppliers' computers. This deployment of inventory records from retail to supplier helps keep constant flow in a reliable process. At his computerized warehouse, many goods arrive and leave without ever sitting on a shelf. Only 10% of the floor space in Walmart stores is used as an inventory area compared to the 25% industry average. This allows for betting, uh, better money management by lowering costs and relieving the cost of money tied up in unmovable inventory for better buying power. With better coordination, the suppliers can have more consistent manufacturing runs, lowering the cost and pass some of the savings to Walmart and eventually the consumer. The point of sale system. The point of sale system used by Walmart consists of barcodes and specifically assigned numbers which make up the universal product code or the UPC. The barcode is for scanning purposes and the numbers are for people to enter manually if needed. As products are purchased, the UPC codes are scanned providing a great amount of information as the such as the price of the product, size, where it was purchased, it will be removed from inventory numbers and added to the reorder. The point of sale system has made record keeping on the items of sales instantaneous. By integrating the UPC coding system, this allows for better business practices and customer service by reading trends and also improving the customer experience by allowing for faster checkout systems. Another major function is to have all items properly priced with a huge is a huge step from the price guns that could be incorrectly set. It also eliminates the chance for human error. Dating back centuries, it has proven the need for information systems is vital for inventory and record keeping purposes. Starting from the BC era, for counting livestock to the elaborate building projects of Egypt's history to now with technology information, we have seen the major advances from one age to another. Information systems are de designed with specific jobs in mind and can be tailored to meet the needs of your specific business. The point of sale systems are just one exact example of a transaction processing system used by Walmart for inventory, distribution, and reorders. By using the UPC barcodes, each sale is recorded in detail and can be used to later show trends, lower inventory costs, and gain competitive advantages over other companies. The use of information systems for accuracy and sorting of information purpose is a definite investment for e that each business should consider. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.